And these runners are walking in with surname looking alert and away they go for the Betfair Ascot Chase of 2021. And immediately Dash or Drash up, showing that Surname is not going to get it all his own way in front. They go towards the first of 17 fences, and Surname out jumped Dash or Drasher there. And they were followed by Master Tommy Tucker, Benny's King, and Riders on the Storm. So the first of 17 then, safely out of the way, and Surname has brushed off the early attentions of Dash or Drasher and kicks on by a couple of lengths with Dashiell racing in second place, Benny's King and Master Tommy Tucker together behind him. And then on the inside is Riders on the Storm as they come up towards the second plane fence now. Harry Cobden on board surname. Beautiful leap by the leader. Really good there from Dashiell Drasher defending his unbeaten record here at Ascot with Master Tommy Tucker wider. Oh, another great leap by surname with on the inside then Benny's King and last of all last year's winner Riders on the Storm up towards the fourth which is the first open ditch of the race coming towards it now and all over it safely with surname bounding along in front leading by a length or so to Dash or Drasher Master Tommy Tucker in third Benny's King right behind them and then in fifth place three lengths back then to Riders on the Storm so they're about to turn into the home straight for the first time having jumped five fences so far. Surname out in front, wearing cheek pieces in public for the first time today. He leads by two legs. Dashiell Drasher in second. Benny's King on the rail. Wider out the nose band then of Master Tommy Tucker and Daryl Jacob. And looking on, Sam Twist and Davis on Riders on the Storm. Here's the sixth. And over it safely. Good jump by Master Tommy Tucker on the outside. Very quick through the air at that. Surname has been impeccable so far. He comes up towards the last fence on the circuit here. Leads by about three lengths. And over it comfortably. Dashiell Drasher in a bit tight, but is holding on to second at the moment with just over a circuit left to run. Benny's King next to the rail. Master Tommy Tucker and Riders on the Storm. Last year's winner, two lengths back in fifth. So a circuit to go in the Betfair Ascot Chase. This fascinating grade one contest with surname striding out in front and appearing to be in a really good rhythm as they race on towards the back straight. His lead is about two and a half lengths then to Dash or Drasher, Master Tommy Tucker, Benny's King for the all-conquering skeletons in fourth place and Riders on the Storm, last of the quintet. Here's the first down the back. Again, Dash or Drasher not quite as fluent perhaps as uh, Matt Griffiths would have wanted him there, but he's closed up a bit now on Surname. They're moving down towards the ninth now. Surname from Dash or Drasher. And just behind them, still wider. Master Tommy Tucker's kept a wider course throughout so far. Benny's King, on the other hand, has been locked against the inside as they go towards another open ditch, which is fence number 10. Coming down towards it now, Surname. Another good leap. So too Dash or Drasher. Benny's King not quite so fluent there on the inside. Master Tommy Tucker travels well. And then comes Riders on the Storm, who's still in last place, but in touch as they take the last fence on this part of the course and all over it safely. And Surname trying to kick on again as they race down towards the final mile of the race. He leads then from a length in second, Dash or Drasher. Closing up now, Master Tommy Tucker on the outside. Benny's King being squeezed along on the rail is in fourth. Then a length and a half back in fifth, then to Riders on the Storm as they race on. And they've got six more fences left to take. And Surname is now being taken on and passed by Dash or Drasher. And Surname has not got much of a response at the moment. Dash or Drasher. From in second place on the outside, Benny's King and surname has stopped to nothing. He's completely checked out here and has been pulled up. And that leaves Benny's King on the outside of Dash or Drasher. And then Master Tommy Tucker and Riders on the Storm. Surname looked to be travelling so sweetly for much of the race, but it was an illusion. And he's out of it. He's been pulled up. Meanwhile, over the next, Benny's King makes a bad mistake as Master Tommy Tucker goes past him to track Dash or Drasher as they come down towards the third last in the Betfair Ascot chase. 
So Dash or Drash is still the leader, but Master Tommy Tucker looming up behind him in second and appears to be full of running for Daryl Jacob. He's only half a length down on him as they straighten up now for home with two more fences left to take. Four lengths back in third place is Benny's King and then Riders on the Storm who's, who's just about being pulled up now. Coming down this straight then and he's kicking on again Dash or Drasher. What has Master Tommy Tucker got left in his locker? Dash or Drasher determinedly finds a bit more. His two out. He's over it. Clear by about three lengths. Master Tommy Tucker hasn't picked up as he looked as though he might. And Dashiell Drasher is pouring on the pressure here. Matt Griffiths in the saddle. Five lengths clear as he comes down to the final fence in the Betfair Ascot chase. Master Tommy Tucker running on again as the leader begins to idle a bit here. And Master Tommy Tucker's got a length to find. Dashiell Drasher on the far side. Master Tommy Tucker under maximum pressure on the near side has been switched to the inner. Dashiell Drasher pulling out a bit more. Maybe he was idling. And Dashiell Drasher goes on to win the Ascot chase. The bet for Ascot chase goes to Dashiell Drasher. Master Tommy Tucker in second. And then back in third. Last to finish, Benny's King.